Okay, we're here to uh, show a, a simple and quick video on how to wire solenoids and then the timer. Um, we had a question come in online about this and we wanted to give a brief video explanation. Um, here we have a pre-assembled solenoid that Orbit makes, but this would of course would apply to any valve solenoid system that you have. Um, we've got some sprinkler wire here and then we have a timer which we'll show you in just a second how to wire that up. So the first thing you do is locate your, um, your valve is going to have two wires coming out of the solenoid. One of these is going to be attached to the individual station and then one will be attached to the common wire. So on sprinkler wire usually you're going to find it has five uh, colored strands and one white strand which is usually what we use for the common wire. So on this one, let's assume that this valve right here is going to be our station one. So we could pick any one of these colored wires. In this case, we'll use blue and just pull off that small bit of wire insulation. You would then twist these together and then use one of the um, included grease nuts. If they're not included with your solenoid, these of course could be purchased at any hardware store. Very inexpensive. and. You apply those on there, twist those on, and that will give it um, a waterproof seal so that any moisture that got into the valve box or whatever wouldn't affect the wiring and cause a short. So you would wire each one of these solenoids to a different colored um, wire, keeping track of which solenoid is which color so that when you wire them to the timer, you can wire the appropriate color to the right station and get them to run exactly how you want to. Now as far as the common wire, um, usually you could actually use any of these wires as the common wire, but industry standard generally will use the white wire. So what you would do is you would take this wire um, and you could strip it off. What I've got here is just a wire stripping tool. Again, you can get this at any hardware store. It makes it really easy to pull off um, enough excess so that you can get a good wire there. What you're going to do in that case is you will take the other of the two wires, the one that's free and not connected, of every single valve in the box and then you would twist those all together using a grease cap. So you'll notice that they're all connected to the one white wire under a grease cap. That um, is the common shared voltage that they'll use so that it can complete a circuit to power the solenoid on and off or open and close. And then um, let's come over to our timer here. What we've got here is one of our beehive timers, but uh, this could be done with any sprinkler timer, of course. And you would have, you know, your corresponding wires at the other end of your line. Now, of course, your sprinkler line is going to be much longer than ours here. It could be a couple hundred feet, but um, the voltage will work the same. When you're doing this, make sure that your timer is unplugged. Of course, you don't want to get a jolt. You could, you know, there's electricity going through there. What you're going to do is feed your wires up through the um, wiring slot in the bottom. And again, you'll remember that in this example, um, I believe we use the blue wire for zone one. So you would just insert that into zone one and tighten that down. It's got a screw on the top. Some of our timers have uh, push button connections where you just push it down, push down the terminal, stick the wire in and let it go and it will grab. But uh, either way, this tightens it down get that in there. You want to make sure it's inserted well so that when you tighten this it makes a good strong connection. Now remember the, wa the white wire was used as the common wire and so we'll do the same thing with the common. Again make sure it's inserted well. Tighten that down. Just give it a little pull to make sure it's in there, and it is. You would do this with all of the colored wires along the spectrum, of uh, however many solenoids you had hooked up. And then you could go ahead and plug it in, um, run a test, and each valve should open as, uh, as you've dictated, and then you can go ahead and program it. So there's a quick video on how to do the wiring, what, the, what each wire does. And if you have any questions, don't feel, or feel free, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks.